show again. Um, so here we are. I um, wanted to talk a little bit more about these stations. So we've got both of our dogs here on our mat. We have Ram here that you can see. And as you can see, Caden is actually right here too. Um, we're working with them pretty close together, so we'll see how they do. I'm trying to get it on video. Um, but what you, where you're at now is you've been working with your mat, so they know pretty much to go to the mat. Or they, they should have the idea that they like the mat. We've been building value for it, so that's why you've been using so much reinforcement to try to build that value. Um, and now what we want to try to do is build duration so we don't have to use as much value to get them on the, keep them on the mat. Um, so the way that we start doing that is both of them are here, they're both settled. When I see that behavior, so if they lay down on the mat and they settle, this is an opportunity to basically reward the mats, to reward the checkout. Uh, so this might seem a little contradictory because a lot of times we also like to reward focus on us, uh, but right now we actually kind of want to reward checking out. We want to reward the settle behavior. So that's why when we go to the mat, I like to tell him to settle because we're going to start to build a calming behavior, a settle mark, or calming marker. Um, so his marker word is settle. Um, so right now he's pretty focused. He knows we're playing a training game. But you see his head just went down. He just checked out a little bit. In fact, he breathed really hard. So that I'm going to reward to the mat. So I don't want to be too exciting at this point. I want to be pretty calm. And I actually want to reward the mat itself. Um, so you can put it on the mat. You can put it between his paws. It doesn't matter. Um, but what you're looking for is a little bit of calmness. At first, you're not going to get very much of that. Brooke. Rama. Oh. I knew you decided to go back to place. It's settled. Stay. So you might see him get up like that. Um, I just direct him back to the mat. Um, I'm not going to reward that right away because he broke his behavior, um, but he's more advanced. So I'm going to wait until I kind of see. And he kind of checked out. He's not really paying attention at this point. So once he's done, then I'll reward him again. Um, but that's usually what I do. He knows the behavior. He knows that he's supposed to stay on that mat once he's there. He's at a higher level. So at this point, if he got up, I would just kind of direct him back, wait a minute to reward again. Um, but aside from that, we're going back to the easier level. So let's let's start off with Rama. Caden's going to maintain his stay. And I'm going to break him off the mat. Um, at this point, I am going to start to use a formal break word. Um, it could be anything. It could be okay. I use okay break. It could be free. It doesn't matter. But I want to start reinforcing a word, a break word at this point. Because I'm going to start. <laughs> That's very good. That's part of the subtle behavior. So he's actually offering it. <laughs> good. Um, so the, once again, we're going to try to work on building building more duration, and then we're also going to work on building our break board, which we also want to have some value on. So I'm going to say, okay, break! We did this before a little bit, but I just want to reinforce you're saying the word first, and then you're tossing the tree. Because you want him to actually break and then toss. You don't want him to just be responding to the toss. Um, so if he went back on his own, which is good, that's exactly what we want. We want the bounce back. And at this point, since he has a little duration, he's already giving me duration, he's offering it. I'm gonna reward it, treat between his paws on the mat. I'm gonna reward Caden too, he's very good. Caden's really good at this. Um, he's very good. <laughs> um, but what I'm looking for is him not to be super focused on me. I kind of want him to give me a little bit of a checkout. You're not going to get much of that at first, so it's okay just to reward the duration behavior. And what you're going to start to do to reward this behavior is you want to kind of start ping-ponging the time. Um, so at first you start off, 
you know, since they're not going to be able to hold it for very long, just every couple seconds is fine. But what we want to build up for is doing maybe between one and 10 seconds. So since he's doing pretty good, I'll give him 10 seconds where we don't reward yet. Mary Chetta checked out, so I'm going to give him another reward. And then since I waited 10 seconds that time, I'm just going to wait three seconds. And then we'll wait five seconds. I'm not really counting. Uh, but the, the, the idea of it is you want it to have a variable rate of reward here. So he's really not sure when that reward's going to come. Um, because we want to build it up so we don't have to reward him every second. Um, we really want to be able to reward him. Um, I mean, he does this behavior at dinner and typically I'm rewarding him every five to 10 minutes. And just a small reward. This is really, really tiny. It's actually, I made some liver treat stuff. Thanks, Susan. Um, but it's just a tiny little piece because we're just kind of rewarding him for maintaining the behavior. Um, and then after he's maintained it for a little bit, um, with your guys that are brand new, so you don't want to give them too long, I wouldn't do it for too long. Um, then I'm going to say, oh, he's going to try to offer me a flop again, because that's part of the subtle behavior, which is really good. I'm going to say, okay, break. And that break can be excited because bouncing off that mat can be excited, that's fine. And then he's going to bounce back himself. I'll see if he offers the behavior. I don't. We get a saddle. Good. And then I reward the mat. And then we kind of start over. And you can see Caden is really good at this, so I'm not rewarding him all the time. I'm just going to reward him kind of periodically. He's going to hold it anyway. It's also okay to vary this. So this is a subtle behavior that I just kind of want to reward and check out. It's okay to mix it in if you want to, you know, do a focus exercise in between there, but that's a different, kind of a different thing. Now I'm gonna break him off. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna offer me a subtle flop again. Good job. That's what he does when we're just hanging out on the mat. Um, and that's hopefully, you can build that because um, what we're actually trying to gain with the settle is a state of a state of mind. You actually, we're actually trying to build an emotional state of being able to settle here. Um, that's why I use settle and not down. He knows down, and you know it's okay to cue down on the mat as well. But that's why we're using a separate settle cue because I actually want to develop this as a palm marker word so that he can settle anywhere. I actually toss, which is perfect. And I want to direct him off to the mat. Go to place. Go to place. I can say settle. We'll wait for him to offer it. It's fine. Um, so we're working on building some duration. And we're working on our break word. And once he has a little bit of duration, I'm going to add in an actual asking him to stay on this mat cue. Um, you can kind of do that one of two ways. You can have them stay on it indefinitely or have a parameter in place such as stay or wait. Um, I find he does a lot better when he has a set expectation. So if he's already being pretty calm, well, he's not being calm now. Are you mother? <laughs> He's giving me a settle. Good. That's a, that's his full settle behavior. <laughs> that's exactly what we want. Um, He's been developing that for a while. <laughs> um, but 
since he's settling, which is what we want, it's rewarding that, I'm gonna add in stay. So I'm gonna say Rama stay. And give him a couple of seconds, reward the duration. And you wanna have him just stay on there long enough where he's already pretty settled so that he isn't gonna break that before I break him off. So if I'm teaching stay, I'm only gonna ask for it for a couple of seconds and I'm gonna say, okay, break.